With fall fishing rapidly approaching, today we're going to be tying a fly pattern that I like to use to represent October caddis. We'll start off with some black thread, securing it to our hook shank, and inserting some lead-free wire to secure a matte black bead in place. Helicopter the excess free. Next, we'll grab some vinyl ribbing. Here I'm using orange. Secure it tightly with your thread, wrapping back well into the bend of the hook. At which point, we'll grab some orange hair's ear, create a dubbing noodle, and begin wrapping this forward in closed touching spirals, starting with a smaller amount of dubbing and creating a transition as we move forward, adding or removing any extra dubbing as needed. Continue wrapping forward, leaving some room at the head of the fly. With this complete, we'll grab our vinyl D-rib and begin to wrap it forward in open spirals, allowing some of the hairs here to show through, and continue to do so until we reach our thread, at which point we'll secure. Snip the excess free and brush it out to give it a nice buggy look. Next, we'll grab a partridge feather, strip a few sections free, and secure it to the underside of our fly. This will make up our legs of the October caddis. Secure it tightly with your thread and use your fingers to spin it around the hook shank. Snip the excess free and grab a brown feather. We'll secure the brown feather to the side of our fly to mimic a wing case. Secure tightly. Snip the excess free and do the same to the other side. And grab some gold crystal flash. We'll select about five to six fibers, fold them over on themselves, and secure them to the head of our fly. This will help create a little hot spot that mimics a wing case. Snip the excess free and grab the pheasant tail. We'll strip a few pheasant tail fibers free and secure them to the side of our fly. With this complete, we'll snip the excess free and grab some more orange hairs here along with some orange ice dubbing. We'll mix these two together, create another dubbing noodle, and begin wrapping this in front of our wing case, stopping just short of the head of our fly. We'll then brush it out to give it a nice buggy look and grab some black hairs here, creating a dubbing noodle and wrapping it just behind our bead. At which point we'll whip finish to secure everything in place, snip the excess thread free and brush it out to give it a nice buggy look. It works particularly well when swung through the current without a bead. However, it can also be tied with a bead for faster currents. And if you have October caddis in your water, I'd highly suggest giving it a try this fall. Thank you for watching, subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next one.